Okay, being on black, folks, and what we have finally found is the actual factual that this old idea of flat like a plane. Today, I'll take you to the video that I did with uh, basically showing you the radioactivity on Mars. And if you watch that, you've seen that this is the... And what we found today, folks, is the actual factual. And we do know that pretty much, more than likely, the sun is... is connected to the Orion Spur and the Perseus Spiral Arm, okay? But we've found for damn sure what uh, we can see it. And basically, I'm going to play this. Now, watch this, and I'll give you some notation here as, we're, as we go through this here. Now, this is part of the electrical motor that we've got, okay? You're going to see some footage from Soho, and you'll be able to understand the meatball and that there's a lot more out there than what they tell you that's out there between us and the sun. Now, w there is plenty of planets that are close to the sun. And I've showed you on core and everything like that that rotate around the sun. See how in their heat that they are? Okay? And that's not Earth, folks. Okay? And it's not Mercury or Mars or any either. Okay? There's plenty of planets that are closer in and then there you go. You see the spiraling arm of a Milky Way galaxy and then we got it in gray and then you'll see some other huge suns and as you see right there you've got the meatball and the other components that are up by the sun and this is our electric motor and the, how that one scientist always said the physicist at NASA that's not alive anymore, he said that we have three suns. And we've already been seeing that pretty much on a lot of footage that I've been able to give you. And as you see, there's even another planet here, okay? So basically, the sun is an electrical motor, okay? And it's not flame. It just puts off heat. And when you see that signature, that is heat from the electrical motor heating up, okay? I pretty much presume that when a... Uh, that when a sun goes supernova. Now you can see this, and we've seen this from, uh, as you see right there, and we call it the meatball. Well, there's actually, positively, you see that there's absolutely two suns, because you're going to see this here in the footage. Part of the electrical motor. And as you see, Soho stays far enough back so that they don't get caught up in that. And there you go. So there's way more than just the sun there, okay? At least two suns for damn sure. And the anodes of the motor are planets. Now, if it ever runs out of planets, burns them up, then we got a wore out motor. But then the sun does cool off and go to a white dwarf, and the sun ain't dying anytime soon. But no matter what, this is actually up there. This is actually the sun. As I was showing you, we'll back it up. There's the sun to the right, and there's part of the tail that it follows, that the sun follows, and we follow it too. And you, when you go outside and look at the Milky Way galaxy, you can see our tail and or our head. You just need to know which end is our head and which end is our tail. And you can do that through studying astronomy. All right? So we spiral through space, no matter what. I've got music playing in my ear, but I'm backing it up enough so that you get this and understand. Because basically that was the Milky Way galaxy that we're in. It's the string that we're caught in, the string of the DNA. Just like when you see DNA in a microscope. And here comes the Milky Way and or our neighboring galaxy could be a neighboring galaxy also but it doesn't matter pretty much ends up being the tail of our suns doesn't really matter there's there's infinite amount of stars and that are suns that are out there and then you get this that you know that there's way more to the sun than just the sun as you see the meatball basically the meatballs and we back it up a little bit here. Might have a little unfriendly help with the player. But I'll hit play. And you'll see the meat bale coming up and again. 
repetitive, but you need to realize that the sun is more than just the sun. And I'll pause it. And there's our actual fact. As you can see, you can see this right here, which is huge, and it's another sun, and it's smaller. What we always do is we always keep an eye on the biggest sun, which is the one up here to the right. Okay? And there's plenty of suns out there. It doesn't matter about that that much. And then there's the tail of our whip action through space. And then I got more stereo action here. And there you can see the rotation. And it's all magnetical. And as you can see the sun to the right, and you see that we follow it, okay? And this is all from Soho, all footage from Soho. And you get a real unraveled look as I'll freeze it. And here we go. You got the sun to the right, right? Where is your veil at now, NASA? So anyhow, actual, factual, okay? It's way more than just the sun that makes our electrical magna. There's meatballs in the sky, pizza pies, there amore. Basically, you can pretty much actual, factual, no matter what. Remember, the sun puts off the same size shadow, and I got it from uh, Mars rover today, or Curiosity, I apologize. We got the actual factual. So as we go through this, you know what space is. And go back to the video that I just had last, and I'll open that up for you real fast. We spiral through space. Now quickly, there's a lot of important videos to watch lately. This is all within a couple days because there's been so much information coming out, okay? No matter what, we got the rotator that you just seen in footage from Soho from way back. So basically, the uh, and you got proof out of Fireball there that we got the ordinance running up late. So actually, hopefully we're not fi falling behind from the sun, which we basically are. It's in the fall solstice. We're supposed to. But hopefully we're not losing track of the sun at all, but we're not. And the actual factual of it, you know, if you open up and go to this video. So basically watch all these and watch the last, basically watch all my videos, but the last 50 or so have been pretty, uh, basically proven a lot of facts to people. Now, it'll be clearer on the real video, so you got the title up there in the corner, Hottie Rads Mars Beano Black. Now, if you got sick of the information of the Rads, the radiation that's on Mars, which basically forget Mars about ever inhabiting it, it's impossible. It's unhealthy. So, but we end up finding what's out ahead of the sun because we've been looking at the, basically it's supposed to be lint up there, right? By the side of the sun or a huge mass object that we thought. So don't ever get sick of my videos. You know, basically, I just screwed up here. I got to re, re uh, generate it. But basically, you were watching this and probably got sick of it and you didn't see the whole everything of the video because basically, as you skip ahead, you always want to watch everything the whole 15 minutes. You can't just get all this information in just a couple minutes. You can't have attention deficit disorder on this stuff, folks. So, as I hit play, we should be able to play this and you'll see that the actual spiral, and this is what the sun and yes, we see our Milky Way galaxy that we are in, but a lot of times we see our tail and our head that Earth follows because we follow the sun. And as this footage here will show you, that is a zoom in on the... See, everybody thinks we're going to go into a black hole and die? No, we're not. That space and this spiral is growing every day, okay? that those laser razor heads that are out there and then basically you see finally we got it unpixeled we got no blockage of our whole tail that darkens as a distance out there 
and then from the magnetical field of the sun it kind of hides it and then all of a sudden when it gets close to the sun again those burnt out smoldering dead planets or stars there they are in a chain all the way out like a pig's tail and there's the magnetic layers of the sun the basically if you know like a coil like uh, Tesla to make an electrical coil and it connects all the way up with that star cluster over there which basically you can zoom in if you watch the original video of me putting this up from this is from core A and I'll be wrong saying it's A to B or A it doesn't really matter this is from our core so satellite so all of this is not theory it's actually proven fact now that the idea that there is a spiral and even the sun spirals a little bit we're never going to know and feel it or mention it and realize it from here on earth and then we spiral also so the footage I started the video with is absolutely fact factual okay and basically I go through here and I go back and I throw it back to you and basically as I go if I just even speed ahead on the footage it proves to you or you back it up and you will see that basically this is actual factual that's what we were looking at and what we zoomed in on so the software programs help a lot and that's us basically spiraling that's the sun right here the big black spot and that's the magneticals on the sun and we spiral through space and that's what we're gonna end up following we don't we don't just follow the sun we follow that pigtail that spiral just like a that's correct so there's the yellow brick road folks so basically going and seeing the freshest shots and as you can see the date and time we get fresh doesn't take too long to get the shots and then what we have is a very interesting thing here that I'm going to be showing you and since I'm at it what I started looking at I was like well what are there? Is there another rover up there and nope there's not but what I saw first is I ended up seeing which is kinda of, you, you should be able to when you zip it down you look at the edges it's like what this cross is up there what is that going on there okay so then I ended up getting more of again is the actual factual we pull in to uh, look at this I start zooming up and you're gonna see what I'm thinking about the idea that if we figure that we've got a uh, or another rover because I started looking I'm like what the hell because I'm zooming in on something that's just that's weird what is that up there so and I started zooming in on it and zooming in and I'll go up here and you'll kind of think that the same thing maybe but it doesn't really matter I start what the hell we got a rover no we don't but what's starting to be wild is we've got black star action that's up that you can see because this is we're gonna I hopefully can prove to you to see how thin the uh, atmosphere on because basically those are stars that are glimmering down on some rocks something in the distance on Mars okay and I'll show you how thin the atmosphere is by and then there you go I zoomed in on it so there's actually there's weird there's black stars that are basically straight up along with the other stars that you can see these are stars now my pointer never really works where there's crap so I'm over here on the right but I'm looking to the left where my finger thumbs at and I guess basically that's what I can do is I can you maybe I can point with the actual magnifying glass there's a star right there and there's a star down not with the hand don't look at the hand but look at the and then, so we're getting lots of images and basically this is the sun from being able to see it from curiosity and there's the thumbnails and the time and the UTC on the fourth and then we go ahead and I went ahead and blown it up and we're gonna blow it up right here and we'll pump it up to 700 and this is actual scientific fact that no matter what that the sun is the same size in its halo or its hologram or its shadow whatever you want to call it and there is the sun ladies and gentlemen now like I say try to take this to a uh, basically take this to uh, a laptop because then you can move your screen around and you get different light you know how laptops these new modern screens work and you can get the actual factual that the sun here puts off the same size also it's just like the planets we know it's scientific fact that the planets and any object in space puts off the same shadow halo 
that the size of it. So stars do too. So